Alright, so I figure out a fix to buy here. So what you need to do is right click, click inspect, and then when you're when this thing appears, you click on buy game, and the thing should show up. Screen right here, and then you input your whatever you want to input. And then yeah, if you input your pin or your phone, whatever it is, and then you can activate. Once you've done that, and when it, you input your pin or whatever, and then you click buy again, and it should work now. There you go. So this thing will pop up, and now you can confirm purchase. And the belt options on file. Change payment options. So now you can add whatever your card or whatever. Okay, so once you've added your payment method, then you click on buy again. We'll try it on this one. Okay, so your payment method should appear here. Then you click on confirm when you're ready. So restrictions. So the, the game that you buy here is going to pop up once you log into your Xbox 360, for example. You log in with your basically what once you link your account you log into xbox live using your microsoft username or xbox you go to xbox.com and create a username and then in my case it's seven heaven seven that's my username on xbox so i'm gonna use that and log in and then once you're logged in it'll show up on your xbox 360 and then you confirm and it should work hopefully this is just like a test I'm trying to test it I mean if it's gonna work there you go done thanks for buying your burnt crash for the Xbox 360 your game will appear in my games on your Xbox 360 console when the download is complete this product is part of the xbox one but it'll appear in the ready to install section of my games wait is it? Oh, okay yeah so cool and then you got your other free stuff you want to grab those too if you want Your trailer you know what that's it's pretty broken though this website but when i click the card it sends me to xbox.com instead interesting what if i research stuff there instead of here let's try that what if i do that kane and lynch Kane and Lynch. See, it's not here. It's not listed at all. It has two because this is backwards compatible, probably. Because that one that means the ones that are not showing up here on Xbox.com, it's not backwards compatible. Usually, when you look up a game on Xbox, like for example, if I were to see, so go here, you'll go to this website and then go look for a game, for example. all console games like for example oh it's they got the first descendant that's not a that's also on playstation pc and xbox but let's say i were to type in see that's this is xbox 360 so the games that are backwards compatible to that were originally available on the xbox 360 are also a bit you can play them on your Xbox One and Xbox Series X which means these are the ones that have a higher price because the ones that are I don't I don't know if these have been upgraded or just moved on to this storefront but that's the difference you will see like an Xbox what do you call that you'll see the difference and it'll and games that are exclusive to the 360 that weren't 
added to the list of the backwards compatibility. Like, it'll have it won't have the Xbox One. Like, I'm probably gonna show it on the console because it looks different on the console. Like this one doesn't show up there. So this this is gonna be gone for good. Oh well. I guess I'll just have to do them all individually. <coughs> Three. What is this? Dope bag contains four scenarios for fragile lines. Okay. Uh, let's grab this one too. I'm just gonna keep going down the list until you know I'm done, and then we'll move on to the console stuff I'll probably do also a tutorial on how, how to buy games here on the storefront or the marketplace if you're basic I'm using right now um because I'm I got Microsoft Edge opened up this is Microsoft Edge browser that I'm using right now so since I got this since I have an account on Microsoft, you know, on my Windows 10 OS PC, gaming PC. I got a, what do you call that, a original bot. It has an account on it, so it's tied to that email and account that you have for Microsoft. I got a Microsoft Store account. So if you have that, you can make a, an Xbox account, which I also associated. So basically, the password that I have for my Xbox account and my Microsoft Store account are the same. So let, let's say you're signing to True Achievements and you got an achievement playing an Xbox game or Xbox 360. The achievement that you have will show up on your Xbox and also if you play a Microsoft Store game that has an achievement to it, it'll show up there too, both of them. So Xbox and Microsoft Store games are both tied to Windows and both of them will share like for example you use Exoface, both of them will share the Xbox logo because they're you know they're both under Microsoft Xbox and Microsoft Store games. Like for example you play the solitaire game that's on the Microsoft Store. The achievements for that will pop up on your Xbox account. At least as far as achievements go that pop up. You will see those on your on your list it's like that's the same account that you used to log into your Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. All those achievements will show up there in one. So yeah. I'm gonna do a how-to video. But what I'm talking about is how to get games using your browser. So I, I, I don't think it matters because right now, as long as you're side, signed in using your Microsoft Store account or Microsoft account, you're signed in with your you know username and password and then log into whatever browser like Microsoft Edge, Opera GX, Firefox, Google Chrome, I don't think it matters. <coughs> as long as you're logged in and then once you're logged in and you visit this website, you can start, you know, buying stuff. As long as you got a whatever, you know, like a card. I because I tried trying to find a way to use a what do you call that? The PayPal, I couldn't figure that out. I tried... I think you either have to sign into this browser or if you're trying to buy games using your your console, yeah, your Xbox 360 console, you'll have to use a gift card, like an Xbox gift card. You know, to, to fill up your Microsoft if it's tied to your Microsoft account and you buy a gift card, you can put it in there. I think you can buy one online. Let's see. Let me see. Real quick. See, let's type in Xbox gift cards. See, there you go. If you, There's a lot of websites. See right here, Microsoft buy Xbox gift card digital code. Microsoft store. This is the Microsoft website. We tried to go there see there you go I don't want to sign up but here you can just buy one Digi this is the digital one and then this will fill up your account it'll be tied to your account 
and then you don't have to buy the actual card from you know like a retail store you can just buy it here digitally and this will load up your account with the card and then once you buy this add card buy I guess you need you still need a card though or either probably PayPal or your credit or debit card to load this up to load this gift card up I mean but you can use this card to buy it on your console that's one way to do it and then once you've loaded it up and then you sign in with your account your Microsoft Store account or Xbox account on your Xbox 360 which which are basically the same it'll you will see your username and then your you know your Microsoft points are tied there and you will see the amount of money that you have which is this so there you go that's one way to do it but if you're trying to do it this way you can also do it this way which is a little bit different 